So this is the difference between like getting paid average and like making money. Okay. And, and I, it's the, it's the I word It's being intentional and you've got to be willing to do things that no one else is doing. I'm gonna tell you that right now is that, so people go, they look at my social media and they're like, man, yo, know, Steve was just in California or Steve was just with this celebrity or, and this, that, and the other. I was like, man, how does Steve King get in all these gigs? Because I'm willing to do stuff that no one else is willing to do in my career. You are watching a socially good television special presentation. The thing that's going to separate you from anybody else is your ability to just do a little bit extra is to be able to look at something ordinary and make it extraordinary. Excitement. I think when you walk into a room with our youth and you're trying to inspire them and you start beginning to see the transformation of the eye opening moments that they were having through conversation and engagement and them being inspired and being hands on, like they went from this, here we go to here we go. And it, it was the shift. And I just love being a vehicle for that. And it's, it's something to talk about our youth and what they're doing and what they're not doing and what's wrong with them. But it's another thing to be an agent for change. And so this time here and being in the community, can't put a price on it. So let's say a continental breakfast. So you can get chunk fruit. You can get some pastries. You're going to get some uh, bagels, some cream cheese. And you can put that out. It's going to be okay. And you can charge people for that, right? And you're going to charge $6.95, $8.95 a person, right? But then you turn around and you get some donuts. The way it, I'm going to show you how to decorate. You carve some fruit as a skill, as a garnish. And you take that and now you're at $25, $35 a person by giving the exact same stuff that you would get at $6.95 a person. 895 a person and now you've tripled that you got to remember that people say if you don't know what to do with your life cook because everybody got to eat and you've seen a lot of people that were on the fence about culinary or this is something they really wanted to do and i just remember being that person and not having a clear path of where my career was going to end up but and i enjoyed the fact of having people along the way that inspired me like today definitely saw myself and he's been walking around and talking to the kids. He did a fantastic demo. I'm um, showing him how to just take something simple like a donut and make it five star worthy as opposed to just like a basic thing. Um, he popped his uh, pop seasoning he introduced to us today and the kids got to test all the different seasonings on food. Um, and I think the most important part, they really just talked about like his story and where he came from. He came from our high school. So that means that's special kind of for all of us to know that he came directly from our program. Um, and the kids to just hear his story and how he's persevered and how successful he's become and all the obstacles that he's overcome and the hardships and things like that. And it really resonates with all the kids because let's face it, like all kids have issues that they're dealing with. And he really, I think, connected with them. And it was fantastic. I hope for them to, I would like them to leave with, it's not like what, what Chef Beatty said, it's not just, you're not on the line cooking all your life. There's so many different pathways um, in this industry, and you could like you could do food sculpting, you can do uh, marketing, you can be in chemistry, you could just do like the chemistry side of the food. So the kids don't feel locked into, you know, I have to sit on the line, I have to cook for the rest of my life. That's a good stepping stone, but he showed them that there's more to it. Start there and then branch out. Don't let fear captivate you. I think that we overthink. We overthink so much, and and I think that we got to have it all figured out. You don't get to your destination by sitting in a parked car. Start driving. And sometimes it's going to be a U-turn. Sometimes you're going to have to say, what, what does the U GPS say? They, they buffer, calculating, rerouting. Sometimes that's just the journey. Don't get frustrated with it. Like, just start. Don't have to have it figured out. Thank you for watching SGTV and remember to share this video.